Hello friends. As we know, many a times when we record cyclic voltagram, the cycles are recorded simultaneously or one after another. As we can see here, this is the data recorded of a cyclic voltagram. When we plot this particular voltagram, what we can see is all the data or number of segments or cycles that are available here are available one after another means the complete data is available here and all the segments or the numbers of cycles are connected to each other if you are willing to separate each cycle then what we need to do is first we will go we'll expand this and click on the spark lines that we can see here once we click on the spark lines what we observe is here the complete cycle ends here or at this particular point so what we will do is we will go to zoom button and we will zoom this particular area now we will select the data selector and we will go to this particular point this end point of this particular cycle here we can see that as we have started from minus 1.3 we have ended it at one, minus 1.3 so a complete mm -hmm. cycle ends here and the x value or the uh, row value is 3401 so we have to note down this particular x value or 3401 value that we can see here so here at 3401 we have a change in cycle so what we will do is now simply to separate or to split or to separate each particular cycle what we need to do is we need to go to worksheet here in worksheet what we have is we have split columns in this split columns when we click here the pop up shows recalculate which we can either set to manual or none the columns to be split here it's already selected or we can select it's usually blank and we can select a particular column now as we know the values that we have are either from p or all columns we can select all the columns and in that particular all columns what we can do is we can we know the n number here what we have is we have subgroup method wherein by every nth row by every nth row we can separate it means individual rows will be splitted into different columns or we can have a sequential n rows we can have a sequence of n rows n rows will be separated with each column or splitted into each column so we'll select this particular thing or we can have a by reference column if we have a reference data and we can use that particular reference column uh, to separate each individual data or separate uh, complete this two sets of column this two sets of column into uh, multiple columns but here we don't have any reference so uh, we will directly select by sequential n rows and the number of rows that we have is 3401 so this is the n value that we have selected or the number of n rows we have and now in the output we can have either any output this any new input book new input sheet or we can have new sheets or we can have new book here we will select new input book new input sheet and we'll click just okay once we click okay what we get is this is the complete set original set and this is the splitted set of columns that is we have three what we had was we had three uh, cycles and that three cycles are now can now be seen here so what i will do is in order to have a better look and now in this particular spark lines i will update them so that we can see them Okay. So yes, this is yet to be done.
Mm. Yeah, as we can see, I'll delete this. As we can see, the what we have is each particular cycle is separated, and we can have or we can directly plot them separately, and you can get this same plot but with different gas cycles separated in different columns. So thank you for watching this video and also subscribe our channel to watch more such videos.